At this point in my life, I'm blessed to live right next to a beautiful hiking trail. And uh, over the summers, I've taken to walking these trails at least once a day, if not multiple times a day. And among other things, looking at nature, trying to observe, trying to learn, uh, trying to get comfortable with the animals. Right here where I'm at, I got about five feet from a deer the other day. Uh, but one of the things that I've been doing uh, on this trail lately is watching a nesting pair of Cooper's Hawks. And I posted some videos about it. Um, they kind of, that while they were nesting, they kind of flew at me. They really didn't like me being around much. In fact, our son was driving a remote control car and the Hawks attacked the remote control car because that was even too close to the nest. Well, I'm right underneath where that nest was not about a month ago, not even a couple of weeks ago. And uh, they had started to have some young ones fledge and weren't really flying yet, but just sort of hopping around on branches. And it appeared to be relatively successful. Now they had two chicks. Now I'm sitting right next to one of them, right here. So this is a very recently deceased young Cooper's hawk, right here. There's a couple things going on here. Um, and there's a couple things are the, that could have caused the death of this young creature. One of the things that you need to know about evolutionary biology, and this is sort of a, a principle of evolution, is that many creatures, particularly birds, will have more offspring than can survive. I'm going to say that again. Many, many creatures have more offspring than can survive. This is typically an R strategist sort of thing. If you're looking at the difference between R and K strategy of survival, um, R's all have way more offspring than can survive. And often case strategists have one or two that won't survive as well. And, and that's, that's always the case. Now, the question I have to you is why, what could that possibly have to do with evolution? What could it possibly have to do with genetics or survival of the fittest? What in the world could having more offspring than can survive knowing that some of these offspring are going to die? Why would, why would that be an evolutionary principle? Why would that be the case? So here's what I want you to do. Of course, you're going to do the research. I'm not going to tell you the answer. You're going to start looking this up. Open up a Google Doc and start putting in your explanation in your own words. Okay, start writing your explanation in your own words. And then I want you to have a peer, any peer, review what you wrote and correct anything that you got wrong. This is a team piece. Okay, so you're going to team write. You're going to write, have someone else look over it, make sure that it's correct before you turn it in. So what I should see is your writing, your peers writing, and then I want a final copy showing your writing and explanation of this case right here.